Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, the 18th of December. Christmas one week away. I'm James Spann. This week, very mild. Next week, very cold. A lot of rain this week. Maybe some strong storms. Could there be winter mischief at some point next week? Oh, so much to talk about. So let's just dive in. Here's the water vapor satellite view. That is an interesting look, always is. It's a split flow. The northern branch draped across the northern states. The southern branch featuring a cutoff upper low that's southeast of Phoenix. Ahead of that, the subtropical jet stream across the deep south. And no doubt that's going to be a very wet pattern for uh, parts of the south central states this week. And a well-defined warm front on the board this morning. You can pick it out. You got 60 south of that front, Dothan a balmy 69, but Birmingham north of the front, 21 degrees colder at 48. But as the front moves northward, everybody gets in the mild air. This week will be very mild across the deep south. Around the nation, the coldest air in the continent is up in eastern Canada, but a new surge of cold air will build and drop into the northern states in about five days, and ultimately we feel that next week. This morning, we have fog problems, a dense fog advisory for almost all of Alabama, except for the southeastern tip of the state, all of Mississippi, all of Louisiana, and much of Texas. That will slowly improve later today as the warm front lifts northward. This is the severe weather outlook today and tonight. No severe weather expected. Maybe some thunder for the southern half of the state. Tomorrow, a marginal risk west of the state. This includes places like Houston, Monroe, Louisiana, and the Mississippi Delta. And look at here, day three, this is Wednesday. We have a marginal risk of severe weather for places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Looks like kind of a hot dog stretched out across Interstate 20. We'll talk about this as we go along. And yes, some pretty big rains for parts of the Mid-South. This is the rain through Christmas morning for the next seven days. In uh, Alabama, you can see potential, and this is a vetted forecast coming from WPC. This is not raw model output. Uh, it's got a bullseye about four and a half inches up around the shoals. Amounts uh, one to two inches for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston. Lighter amounts down to the south. And we note on the day two excessive rain outlook, we've got a risk of flooding lined up there from northeastern Texas up through the Tennessee Valley. So, uh, that is one of the issues we might have this week, uh, flash flooding problems for the northern quarter of the state. And again, the heaviest rain will likely be late tomorrow, tomorrow night, possibly into Wednesday. So let's just take a look at this stuff. Here we go. The GFS, this is the 06E run at noon today. Again, split flow, northern branch near the Canadian border, southern branch featuring that uh, upper low southeast of Phoenix and a big old upper high just south of Miami. And for us, the day will be cloudy. Uh, and foggy, obviously, this morning. And as the warm front pushes north, there could be some drizzle, maybe a few scattered showers, but nothing really big in terms of rain today. And if indeed the warm front can push north of here, we think we'll reach the low 60s today. Uh, tomorrow, cloudy and mild, mid-60s likely. Rain will likely begin with that next wave by mid to late afternoon. The morning should be fairly dry. This is tomorrow night. A surface low begins to form. Uh, near El Dorado, Arkansas. And at that point, we should be pretty wet with rain and storms. And then for Wednesday, uh, the GFX depicts that surface load near Chattanooga. And let's look at some of the severe weather parameters. This is coming off the high-resolution NAM, and it's a little slower than the GFS. And this is suggesting a fairly decent tongue of instability up through parts of Alabama during the day Wednesday. This is Wednesday at noon and it's got a max uh, surface-based cape of almost 1,000 joules per kilogram. That's pretty robust for uh, December. And understand, you all, this is the November-December tornado season. This is the storm relative felicity values, and they ramp up a little bit uh, across the central part of the state. And this is the significant tornado parameter. 
showing a max of 1.2 units. I'm not so sure the tornado threat is the big deal, but no doubt there could be some strong to severe storms Wednesday if the slower solution is right. The best case would be that the rain and storms kind of end early in the day before the air can destabilize. But Wednesday looks like certainly an active day uh, and very mild. In fact, the uh, GFS is showing mid-70s for Birmingham, but the NAM is showing mid-60s. We'll, for now, we'll, we'll go with upper 60s for Wednesday. Now, Thursday, we dry out. If you need a dry day to get something done, that's your day. Not so sure the sun's going to be totally full, but uh, maybe partially sunny or a mix of sun and clouds. And still mild. There's no cold air involved. Uh, we'll be up there in the upper 60s, maybe touching 70. So this week, very mild. Now, this is Friday. Big trough begins to form over the central states. Out ahead of that, we go wet again. So understand that out of all the days this week, the driest day should be Thursday. And then Friday looks wet with rain, maybe some thunder. Uh, we'll be well up in the 60s, maybe approaching 70. That rain, according to the GFS, moves out on Saturday, and we would start to turn colder. Uh, highs would drop down to about 50, and this is Sunday, Christmas Eve. Trough axis to the west, cold air moving in. Sunday would be cold, maybe a highs only in the low to mid 40s. This is just suggesting maybe a few snow flurries back in the colder air for Little Rock and Memphis, but nothing really significant. And then Christmas Day, uh, Monday of next week, trough is just about through here. And if this were to verify, Christmas Day would be cold and dry. These are the anomalies and brutally cold air up north, Minnesota, the Dakotas. I mean, this is big time cold. But for us, uh, this would suggest highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s with dry conditions on Christmas Day. But the European, you know what it says, not so fast. <laughs> this is the other global model. And it's got very cold air. You know, the question is, when does it get here? And the European says it might be arriving on Christmas Day. And this is suggesting that and this is Monday, December 25th. And this is suggesting might have some rain to deal with, with a strong Arctic front. Speaking of the Arctic front, look at this. Look at the thermal contrast, according to the European. Let's get a little more detailed on, on our region here. And if this were to verify Christmas Day, it would be 38 in Muscle Shoals, 73 in Dothan, 72 Montgomery, 73 at the Shelby County Airport in Calera. You talk about an insane contrast. But remember, the GFS has us in cold air. But let's look at the ensemble. You know, the Europeans got 51 members, and you, you average them out, and you wind up with this on Christmas evening. And really, we are in the cold air at that point. And I think the right, and typically shallow cold air, when it gets in here, the models don't do a good job of that. So I would clearly lean toward Christmas Day being cold for a pretty decent chunk of the state. Um, and more than likely dry. The odds of a white Christmas, I'd say at this point, are pretty low, but let's just keep going. Uh, this is the GFS on Tuesday the 26th. It's cold and dry. This is suggesting uh, the middle of next week will be cold and dry, but again, let's go back to the European. It's saying, whoa, wait a minute here. Uh, it paints a nasty ice situation for the northern part of the state middle of next week, and this is nothing but voodoo because we're out here beyond seven days. Uh, but could something like that happen? Yes. Uh, this is a depiction of, uh, of sleet, upper left, freezing rain, upper right, from the European uh, toward the middle of next week. And that's just ugly if this were to verify. And let's go to the GFS. This is, uh, it's got 21 members. And of the 21 members, almost half of them have some kind of snow in here at some point next week. So, I think the basic idea, we're going to forecast a cold and dry Christmas day. And beyond that, some potential for winter weather mischief that nobody knows now if it happens or when or how or details. But obviously, both the global models are hinting at some kind of issues beyond Christmas, maybe toward the middle or end of next week. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we'll check the numbers first off coming off the GFS Ensemble. Uh, it's got the temperature drop this weekend. In fact, you know, Sunday 52, Monday, Christmas Day 48. The European Ensemble, pretty similar here. Uh, the Ensemble of the Europeans got a high of 48 on Christmas Day. So I, I think the idea of cold and dry Christmas looks pretty good. And then really cold air settling in for the middle of next week with maybe some mischief at that point. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.
Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.